Well, hi everyone. Today I want to talk about bone density and the importance of magnesium with maintaining bone density, keeping calcium in the bones. There's a variety of things that keep calcium in the bones, vitamin D levels, trace minerals. That would be manganese, chromium, vanadium, boron, strontium. There's many of them. Vitamin K, and the most important is magnesium. Mag without magnesium, calcium will leave. The best source of magnesium from our diets is dark green vegetables. Spinach is gonna be the, the one that would be the, is actually the highest concentration, one we're most familiar with. I wanna to introduce to you other vegetables that you can try. And I can, if you put this in the comments, I'll cook them for you too. In addition to spinach, the next highest concentration is Swiss chard. It's like a strong spinach. The stems are red, and then the leaves can be green, and some of them can be red. But I really like this. It cooks up real nice. I like the taste. Bok choy is also very high in magnesium. Now they do have small ones too, the little small ones, but this happens to be the big guy. This tastes good and it's very high in magnesium. Next are the kales. There's green kale. This is what we're most, I would say what we're used to seeing at the grocery store, green kale. Then there's a red, a red kale, it's a red leaf kale. The leaves are not as rough. It's gonna be a little, it's a little, I like this myself, I, love, I like the taste. And then there is a, Lacinato kale. I like the flavor of this also. They do have different flavors. Very pretty, pretty leaf. So those are some of the dark green vegetables that are quite high in magnesium. Now there's other things that are high in magnesium besides dark green vegetables, and your dark lettuces will work. Lentils, now lentils come in many different colors. There's a, there's a this is a green lentil, there's a brown lentil, there's a there's a red one, there's a black one. But lentils are high in magnesium as well. Peanuts, almonds, and dark chocolate. So don't forget the dark chocolate. But these are ways to keep our magnesium levels high. We need magnesium levels for our bone density. We need it for energy. What happens is in our urban lifestyle, we are using up more magnesium than we can take in with our diets. A non-stressed, relaxed day, the minimum adult requirement for magnesium is 400 milligrams. The average American is getting about 175 milligrams on average. So even on a non-stressed day, we tend to run low. We do need supplementation. If you have a high stress job, if you if you're, uh, have a very high physical demand job, your magnesium levels can go from 400 to 600, 800 milligrams a day. It gets to be very, very difficult to meet that with diet. And when we run low in magnesium, we will pull the magnesium out of our bones and we'll start shedding calcium. For every two calciums in the, in the bone, there has to be one magnesium. And if we start to pull magnesium out of our reservoir, we will start to drop calcium. And that is our osteopenia. We did, we've been looking for, and what's the best way to supplement with magnesium? There, magnesium has a very difficult time being absorbed. The reason is, is there's two pores on the intestine. One of them is called an active pore. It's an energy pore. It requires an energy molecule to work. The other one is a neutral pore. It's a fat pore. It does not require any energy. It'll just suck in fats or anything that looks like a fat. If I'm tired today, if I'm tired, my intestines are tired. We're not going to have a very efficient absorption of magnesium. So with supplementation, it's, it's a real dilemma. What we found to be the best absorption and the most economical was when the liquid B vitamin choline is mixed with a highly absorbable, but it still needs a carrier, magnesium glycinate. When these two mix together, the, the intestines will think the B vitamin choline is a fat. And when the, when the magnesium's attached, it'll suck it in through this neutral fat pore and we can get great absorption. 
What's really neat is we can measure this. We can measure this with the first morning's urine pH. When you take this, you can see the pH change. We want the litmus paper to turn green with the get out of bed, dark green urine color. It'll turn dark green with the, with the get out of bed urine. And then we know we're absorbing the magnesium at the rate that we need to maintain our bone density and protect our whole body. We can also measure it with serum magnesium. Red blood cell magnesium is a laboratory measurement. It's not a person people measurement. With diet and with supplementation, serum magnesium is a better way to measure things. Laboratory uh, measuring is done with red blood cells. Serum magnesium is better. Bone density is also protected and supported with weight-bearing exercise. So any kind of weight, any exercise that you do, anything that you like, but that the physical gravity of weight maintains calcium in the bones and it really works. Walking up a hill, the sand dunes, that helps. Yoga, where you have to maintain a position, you're stressing the bone, that works. But physical activity with weight is very important. We want the vitamin D to be between 50 and 80 on blood testing. Vitamin D keeps the calcium in the bones and you have to check this with, with a blood test. And it's good to do this once, twice a year to make sure that you're keeping where you need to be. And the only way to find out is with, a, with testing. To recap, diet matters. Dark green salads, our vegetables, lentils, peanuts, almonds. All these foods are very, very important on a daily basis. Restful sleep. You have to rest. You have, you have to wake up happy. That way we know the stress is not overwhelming your body. The adrenal glands, when they overwork, are going to use up the magnesium and, and we need restful sleep for repair. And so we can keep the magnesium in our bones. The first morning's urine pH. We want that to be dark green. It's the get out of bed urine. Vitamin D levels. We want it checked. Serum magnesium is helpful. And don't forget the dark chocolate. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see me cook these up, make sure you put that in the comment section.